hopefully you can all hear me. Sorry, the sound was low. Uh, let's keep doing the rapid Excel or shining skull breathing. Okay, let's do that for two minutes. As you press your stomach inwards, you, your breath comes out from your nose and the pressure of the breath that comes out from your nose, that is the one that is throwing out your toxics and your dirt and cleaning your internal system. So I just gave my 200 rapid excels or the shining skull breathing. Thank you for joining today, guys. I appreciate you coming out uh, in person and joining some of you um, in person. Uh, most of you is attending uh, through the virtual, which I appreciate that too. Um, okay, let's do the next exercise, which is the, I'm, sh I'm sure you know, the uh, alternate nostril breathing. So you're gonna inhale from one side, hold your breath 10 seconds inside and exhale from the other side, okay? It's alternate nostril breathing. Inhale first and then hold your breath 30, 10 seconds inside and then exhale from the other side. And then you do vice versa from the opposite side as well. Ready, start. For any breathing exercise, you wanna make sure that you're sitting straight, nice and tall. Your shoulders are always relaxed. You can sit in a concentration position. So any of these fingers touching with your thumb are all concentrating positions. Uh, I like the one that is just connecting with the first finger along with the thumb. So that way you can concentrate nicely or you can also try with the other fingers, no problem. Um, but make sure you sit straight so that you don't have any back pains, shoulder pains, any lump issues, any joint pains. Keep doing no inhale, exhale. <sighs> Very good. Um, so inhale, exhale, or alternate nostril, nostril breathing, you can do any time from five to 10 minutes a day. That controls your uh, left and right brain. It balances your left and right brain. 
uh, it controls or cleans or helps um, supports your respiratory system. It cleans your internal system. It controls or balances your sugar level, blood pressure level, and cholesterol level. Um, and also helps control your anxiety. Uh, when you have when you have a lot of cough, you should be doing a lot of inhale, exhale, or, or nostril, uh, alternate nostril breathing. Okay. Again, you can do that any time of the day. It doesn't have to be empty stomach. Only the shining skull breathing has to be done empty stomach. And you can do that in the morning, sometimes before lunch, uh, or three hours after lunch, uh, or three hours after dinner. Okay. Uh, keep those things in your, uh, in your mind uh, so that you can remember it for your guidance while you're doing these um, breathing exercises. So the next one we're going to do is the anxiety breathing. We're going to close our ears with the thumb. The first two finger goes on top of your eyes. The third finger is going slightly around your nose, slightly blocking the nose off. Not all the way, just a slight nose blocking. And then the pinky finger goes on top of your um, top of your lips, upper lips. All right. You're going to inhale first with the sound of B or the pummery sound. You're going to exhale. The B sound is something like, mm, you know, kind of those B sounds. Very annoying B sounds. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds each time. Ready? Let's do that five times. Start. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale again. Inhale again. Inhale again. Very good. You can remove your hands gently, slowly open your eyes. The next one we're going to do is um, so that was anxiety and um, anxiety breathing. So it kind of controls your anxiety, um, which was called B breathing. It's also called a B breathing. What it does is that there are benefits written here uh, in the back. Uh, so it reduces your blood pressure. It stimulates your thyroid. It, uh, again, calms your mind down, releases you, release you from stress and anger. It kind of controls your temper down. Um, it uh, also, it helps with your uh, pituitary Terry glands, and of course, the internal system. So it's, it's a very good B breathing exercising um, to control your anxiety. It helps you sleep or so, helps you sound sleep. Uh, the next one we're going to do is the ocean breathing. Uh, so with the ocean breathing, uh, actually the cool breathing, let's do the cool breathing first. Um, with the cool breathing, you want to inhale from both nostrils and you're going to exhale through your mouth, but with the sound of whistle, okay? So you're going to cross your both arms to your chest because so that the, all the dirt can be exceeded um, when you are exhaling. When you exhale, your dirt is pressured with your breathing and it comes out. It just throws out, right? That's why we press the chest so that it cleans your chest. When you're inhaling, you're taking, in taking the fresh air. And when you're exhaling that air, you also take exhaling with your dirt. So that air is throwing away the dirt along with it. Okay. So let's start that. We're going to do that five times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. 
Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Very good. Let's press your stomach inwards. Same concept. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth with this blowing whistle. Okay. Inhale. Make sure you press your stomach when you're doing this. And you're sitting nice and tall. Sit straight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Very good. Let's do the same concept. Inhale when we are raising our arms up. Exhale when we are bringing it down. Inhale. <clears throat> Exhale. Inhale again. <clears throat> Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Very good. And that was a um, cool breathing exercise. The next one we're going to do is the art of living, deep breathing. So deep breathing in a way of art of living. So we're going to inhale with both, um, inhale, and then rate when we are raising our arms up. Exhale when we are bringing our arms down. Ready? We're going to do that 30 in our own speedy motion. So inhale when you raise your arms up. Exhale when you are bringing it down. Start. <laughs> Very good. That was a Pastrika Pranayam or deep breathing exercise. The deep breathing exercise in the art of living way. You want to hold your breath a few seconds uh, just until it gets normal. Um, let it, Just breathe normal. After you do this exercise, don't do anything for a few seconds um, because your blood is rushing through your brain and um, you want to experience the calmness during that time. Because if you start moving, you might get start feeling dizzy. You don't want to do that. So just calm yourself down for a few seconds, okay? And then let's do the next exercise, um, which is the ocean breathing. So you're going to do inhale from both nostrils, and you're going to exhale through only left nostril. When you uh, exhale, you, uh, you, after you inhale, you're going to hold your breath 30 seconds inside, okay? And then exhale through your left nostril. Why left nostrils? Because um, left nostril is the one that, is located near the heart it cleans your heart it cleans your artery and it cleans your chest so that's why we're excelling through your left nostril okay make sure sitting nice and tall again let's start inhale Inhale again. <laughs> Ex 
exhale. Inhale again. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale one more time. Very good. Let's do the next exercise, which was this was ocean ocean breathing exercise. The next one we're gonna do is um before we do further into breathing, let's do some warm ups. So, we're gonna do some warm up exercise. Twist yourself to the sides. I'm gonna grab some tissues. So, we're gonna do some warm up exercise. Let's twist yourself to the sides. Yeah. 20 times. Very good. Excellent. Let's do our short frozen shoulders. So we're going to keep both of our um, both of our hands on the top of our head, on this on the back, in the back. And we're going to do 10 on each side for frozen shoulders. Very good. How does how is this a frozen shoulder? Because it kind of exercising your frozen, your shoulders that can become frozen. Okay, and that's why you're exercising that, right? Um, that's why it's called frozen shoulders exercising. The one that we do with the shoulders. Let's do actual circles on the shoulders. So both arms are on the shoulders. Twenty inwards. Let's do twenty inwards. Let's do 20 outwards. Very good. And let's do our knuckles, because I know we use a lot of mouse nowadays. So we're going to do 20 inwards. And 20 outwards. Today we are going to do the eye exercise um, while we're sitting. So I want to make sure that is included in our package. It is included in my advanced level package. Uh, I, eyes are very part, important part of our body. So we do eye exercises in our advanced level for sure. Uh, let's do the, the neck. We're going to circle our neck five rounds. Although the yoga for beginners are different than the yoga for advanced level. But still the basics, all the basics should be covered. Uh, so I wanna make sure we are covering the basics. So gently, slowly do circles onto your neck five times clockwise first. Let's do five rounds of counterclockwise. This helps release your any bacteria, any chemicals sitting around your nose, around your um, neck, and onto your throat. It cleans your throat. It prevents you from having throat cancer because you already are cleaning your throat in a way. We haven't done the thyroid yoga. We are going to do the thyroid yoga after this. So and release. Beautiful, let's do the heart. So we're gonna tap around our heart five times. See, that's why yoga is very important because it, it covers your internal system exercising. That's why I really, really 
like it and it's very significant in our life because all the other cardio exercising aerobics um, uh, gym yes they will help you build muscles strengthen your breathing strengthens your heart but it doesn't do anything to your internal system that's why the yoga is very important because it's exercising your internal system let's do the counterclockwise five times Make sure you tap around your heart five times so that there is no blood clot sitting anywhere. You're manually exercising your heart five times. Circle it counterclockwise. You do this only while you're sitting calmly and steady, okay? You don't wanna keep doing it when you are walking around because um, it may attack the stroke or something. Uh, let's do the, um, you have the knuckle, so you're gonna tap the knuckle around your heart five times clockwise first so that there is no blood clot sitting anywhere. Everything is flowing nicely as it should be. You're kind of pushing everything to go flow it nicely. If there is a problem, if there is no problem, then it's still going to run fine. Let's do the counterclockwise. It's just taking all the precautions, just exercising your body muscles. That's what we are doing. Very good. Excellent. So that was five rounds. And let's do the next one, which is the thyroid. So I want to make sure that you're sitting straight again. And you're going to stretch your arms straight. Um, make sure you breathe deep, breathe first. Take a deep breath. And then now you're going to rapid exhale. So when you're exhaling, you're going to open your mouth wide, take your tongue out because you're going to stretch your tongue out so that thyroid, because thyroid is about throat, so the throat is nice living exercise. So you're going to be in such position like this. release. So I know it's not a good looking position, but it's not a good looking pose, but it's excellent for your thyroid. There are these three steps that really helped so many people getting rid of their thyroid. The hyperthyroid had, has reduced to the um, lower thyroid and the lower thyroid has gone away. So um, that's why I really recommend these three steps since years. Um, and it, it's really uh, authentic. It has worked on people and it has uh, given good results to people. So we're going to try that every time when we do our beginning yogas. Okay. So again, let's do the rapid excel with the thyroid. Um, so ready? Start. and release again any anywhere from five to six times of this exercise should be very good <laughs> and release Inhale again, and then exhale. <laughs> and release. So after the exhale, the rapid exhale that you do, or after the exhale you do, you take your tongue out, you open your mouth wide, and you hold your breath inside 30 seconds, okay? And you want to make sure your chin is touched to your ch chest, okay? Let's do that one more time. <laughs> and release. So you can hold it for 30 seconds. All right, the next one is, next up is you look up to the ceiling, 
Make sure there is one hand gap between your chin and your chest. And you're looking up at the ceiling, open your mouth wide, touch your tongue underneath your upper jaws. Okay, and start. And release. So you want to hold it for again, 30 seconds. Start again. And release. Let's do the third step, which is the neck. So start from your right side. Only your neck should be turned around to the right side. Come in the middle. Let's go to the left side. So in the beginning uh, yoga for beginners class, um, we are gonna just for for a few weeks, couple weeks. I'm just come in the middle. Um, I'm just gonna go do some um, uh, breathing exercise and um, uh, the breathing exercises as well as the sitting. Okay, and then after a couple of weeks, we're gonna start uh, standing and then doing some other poses as well. Uh, let's continue with our thyroid exercise. Look up to the ceiling, give a nice stretch to your throat because thyroid is all about throat. So eventually we're gonna do all the basic exercises uh, in this course that are involved with the A to C body. Come in the middle, go down. Come in the middle. Let's do second round. Start from the right side. Come in the middle. Let's go to the left side. Come in the middle. Look up to the ceiling. Come in the middle, look down. Try to touch your ch chest to your chin or the chin to the chest. And release, look straight. Very good. And let's do our ear paddling. So we're gonna paddle our ears 20 times clockwise first. This helps release our migraines and sinus issues. Let's do 20 times counterclockwise. So when you pedal your bicycle, that's how you are pedaling your ears, up and down. Very good. Let's pinch those ears. Pinch it 20 times. The top part of the ears. Very good. And let's pinch the jaws, cheek, and chin 20 times. This really helps bring your beauty of the face again. It, it refreshes your um, uh, blood and it kind of um, reboots your uh, nerves of the face. It kind of brings your um, youth back. Uh, let's do the next one, which is the, um, we did pretty much all the breathing exercises. So we're gonna do some uh, poses and some exercises that we need to do stretches, right? So let's take the right foot front and stretch yourself to the side first. Turn to yourself to the sides, to the right side first. You hold it for 30 seconds and let's do the left side.
and release. Very good. We're going to do our poses or the exercising. So we're going to keep our both legs straight. I hope you can see me. So keep your both legs straight. Try to reach out to your toes. And hold it for 30 seconds. And release. So let's do a 20. Back and forward. Back and front. Okay, count 20. Very good. Let's do our toes. We're going to circle our toes 20 times clockwise first. Let's do 20 rounds of counterclockwise. Let's do alternate your toes 20 times back and forth. Very good. We're going to take our right foot and keep it onto our forehead. Or at least bring it towards your forehead. And release. You're going to do that with the left leg this time. Bring it towards your forehead. And release. Remember each exercising or the each pose you do, you have to do it for 30 seconds. You have to hold it for 30 seconds. Let's do the circles. We're going to do leg uh, or hand circles around our legs. So let's do 20 circles. Clockwise first, circle your circle around your legs. This really helps your lower, lower back, your spinal cord muscles, your uterus, and your abdomen muscles. Let's do the counterclockwise 20 times. Very, very good. Excellent. And we're gonna now we're gonna do our poses. So keep both of your legs up. Hold it for 30 seconds. Try to balance. And release. Now cross your feet and bring both arms underneath your legs. And hold it for 30 seconds. And release. We're going to take the right foot folded, left foot is straight. And we're going to take our right arm to connect with our left arm in the back, keeping the left leg straight. Bend down. This way you are exercising your kidney and liver muscles. Shift your sides. So you're going to fold your left leg, keeping the right leg straight. Take your left arm, connect with your right arm in the back, and bend down as you can. And release. We're going to take our right, our right, our, our left leg straight. Right foot is. 
turn outwards, such as this, left foot is straight. We're gonna connect both of our arms in the back. And release. Let's try with the opposite side. And release. Very good. We're going to spread both of our legs straight and hold your toes, both of your toes. Bend down as much as you can. And release. Bring both legs to, towards one side. Keep your head in the middle. Shift your sides. And release. This is the opposite arms touching the opposite leg. We're going to swing 20 times. Very good. We're going to fold our right foot inwards and left foot is outwards. You're going to hold it outside, keep it onto your elbow, okay? And you can either connect your both arms in the back or you can just hold it as much as you can because the idea is to get your knee curved up to the outside so that it is nicely being flexible and it strengthens your knee, okay? So I like to just connect both my arms. That way it stays steady. Shift your sides. You're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Take your left arm, hold it onto your left uh, elbow or the right elbow actually, and hold it in the back. Hold your arms in the back. Very good, and release. Very good. Let's do our leg exercise. So let's do 20 on each side. Shift your sides. Like I said, today we are just gonna do, we did breathing exercises. We are gonna do the eye exercise at the end. And currently we're doing all the laying down ones for our leg and lower back exercises. And release. Let's lay down for our lower back exercises. So you're gonna bring both your legs towards one side and you're gonna to face towards the opposite side. Bring both legs to right side. Make sure they're nicely folded. And you're gonna to face towards the opposite side. It's very simple. Shift your sides. You're gonna hold each side for 30 seconds. And release. Now let's take the left foot and hold it onto your right arm and you're gonna to face towards the left. Opposite side. You're always gonna to face towards the opposite side. This way it gives a good circulation, a blood circulation to your heart. Shift your sides. And release. Let's take the right foot and we're gonna circle it clockwise first. Circle it outwards, clockwise. 20 times. Okay, 
that all right so let's take the left foot circulate outwards 20 times And release. Let's do the right foot again. And we're going to circulate inward this time. Let's do 15. Since it's the beginning of the course, we're going to just do 15, 10 to 15, so that it's easy for everyone. You start off with 10. 10 is a good number to start off with. Give that a rest. Let's take the left foot. And this time, circle it inwards 10 times. Very good. And we're going to rest that. Keep both your legs up. Hold it up together. And hold it. Or keep your arms on to hold it. Hold your legs with your arms. Keep both legs and arms straight. Very good. Some of you are doing an excellent job. And release. We're going to circle from knee to the toe. Clockwise first, 10 times. Let's do counterclockwise, 10 times. Very good, excellent. We're gonna pull both of our legs towards our body. Bring it towards your face. Keep your face lifted up. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. And release, very easy peasy. We're gonna take both of our feet, cross it, okay, or fold it and bring it towards our face. Keep your face lifted up. And release. So these two exercises do help you have a good digestion, okay? Uh, it supports your digestion, healthy digestion. Um, let's take both of your feet, turn them outwards and hold it for 30 seconds. Make sure both of your feet are turned outside. And release. Just keep your right foot onto your left knee and lift your both legs. And release. Very good, we can hold our ankle and lift our upper body. And release. Very good. Let's do the opposite arm or opposite elbows touching the opposite knee and kick. So sit ups and cycling together, okay? Opposite elbows touching the opposite knee and kick. Let's do 15. Very good. Excellent. Keep your both legs straight. And a little bit separate. Legs are a little bit separated. Both arms are facing towards the ceiling. You're going to lie flat, straight, and this is called a salasan. So you are laying down flat, straight, calming your blood down, calming your mind down, just connecting yourself to the spirit, to, the, to your internal body, okay? Mind, body, and spiritually are connected at this time. Just calm yourself down. Deep breathe. 
it helps you sleep good have to have a good sleep uh, a sound sleep when you are in this position when you have sleeping problem this is excellent to lay down like this okay flat on the ground your your both arms are facing towards the ceiling to calm yourself down and release very good bring both legs together let's do full sit ups so let's do 10 full sit ups Good. Let's turn around for our lower back exercises and then we can do our eye exercise at last. So lower back exercises, you kick 30 times while you're watching TV or something. You can also do this same exercising. Okay. This really helps um, with your lower back. Now let's hold both of our legs in the back. Make sure your face is lifted up. You're looking at the ceiling. Now hold it for 30 seconds. And release. Keep both of your arms folded in the back. Your lower legs are slightly lifted up. And you're looking at the ceiling. Hold it for 30 seconds. And release. Very good. And we're going to do the um, keep your both arms to the ground, your faces down as well. Let's lift your right foot and left foot, right foot and left foot. Let's do 20. Very good. Let's do the structure push ups. So you can put both of your arms to the ground, keep your both arms to the ground, and you're gonna do push-ups. Let's do 10 push-ups. This is to make your structure straight. Your legs, your thigh muscles, your hips, your, um, your stomach or abdomen muscles, so that straightens all your stomach muscles, okay? Um, these are all sun salutation steps that we're gonna go over uh, in detail a little later, but right now I'm just showing you the basic steps. So let's sit in this position. We're gonna do upper back 10 times. Only your upper back should be moving. Very good. Excellent. And we're going to take both of our legs, keep it straight, stand on your toes, and bend down. And release. We're going to swing forward 10 times. Swing forward 10 times for sun salutation push ups. Very good. Bring your right foot forward. Make sure it's folded nicely. Left foot is straight and you're looking at the ceiling. Shift your sides. And very good. We're going to sit in a hero pose. It's called a hero pose. So it's excellent for your uh, digestion again. So you're going to sit like this, curved up, press your stomach, empty stomach part inwards, and bend down. Not the muscles, only the empty stomach part. This really helps um, reducing your stomach as well. If you have big fat belly, this really helps nicely.
and release. Very good. We're going to keep both of our uh, arms. We can do this one. Um, the, both of our arms are in the middle. Okay. You're going to open up your mouth wide. Take your tongue out and look up to the ceiling. And start. Hold it for 30 seconds. It's not a good pose, but it's excellent for your throat and thyroid. And release. Very good. Hold your ankle. You're going to hold the ankle and bend down a little bit. Try to touch your head to the ground. And release. All right, we're going to hold our ankle and lean back this time. And release. Very good. Excellent. Now we're going to sit for our eye exercises. To sit straight in your normal pose or normal position. And let's do eye exercising. Make sure you have, if you have eyeglasses, please remove them at this point. We're going to start with the right side. Take your tongue, take your um, thumb out and follow along to the right side. Follow your eyes along with it. Come in the middle. Let's go to the left side. Come in the middle. Let's go up. Come in the middle. Go down. Follow your thumb. Come in the middle. Let's go to the right side. You hold it for 30 seconds, come in the middle. Let's go to the left side. Both of your eyes should be following the thumb. Look at the thumb. Give it a nice stretch to your eyes. Come in the middle. Make sure your face is faced front. Look up. Come in the middle, look down, go down. Come in the middle and release. Let's look at your shoulders, right shoulders first. Come in the middle, look at your left shoulders again. Come in the middle, look at your upper eyebrows. Come in the middle, look at your upper lips. And look straight, look at your right shoulders again. Come in the middle. Look at your left shoulders. Come in the 
come in the middle. We'll get you up five rows. Come in the middle. Look down to your upper lips. And look straight. Let's rotate your eyeballs 10 times clockwise first. Let's do counterclockwise 10 times. Very good. Let's blink 20 times hard. Let's warm up your eyes three times on 10 seconds onto your eyes. So you warm up your hands nicely. Keep it onto your eyes while your eyes are closed. 10 seconds. Keep your eyes closed and let's do it one more time. Very good. You can remove your hands and gently open your eyes. Very good. Let's do the deep breathing 30 times. So you're gonna make sure you straight, sit straight and we're gonna take lots of oxygen, okay? Let's do the deep breathing. Very good. We are going to do a um, acupuncture exercise. So we're going to keep both of our knees onto the acupuncture, uh, onto the um, yoga blocks. Or you can use your uh, pillow, home, home pillow. Just press these acupuncture points. Make sure your knees are nicely relaxed so that you don't have to go through any knee surgery. This helps preventing from knee surgery. Let's do 10 times. Very good. And release. Now we can do acupuncture clapping as well. So we're going to clap our with our arms. Make sure these, these acupunctures are pressed along with the foot acupunctures together. Okay. So we're going to do 100 times clapping both together. Ready? Start. Very good, and I will see you all next Wednesday. So that was um, that was that's it for today. We did our sitting yoga. We did our laying down yoga. We're gonna do more next time. Thank you.